Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to log in as a project administrator and then configure some users in QC. So, in the previous session, we added Arjun as the project admin for one of the projects. So, you go to the QC site, then log in as that user. I have not set any password, but that's why I said authenticate. We have allocated Arjun to healthcare cell life project. So that shows here. Now if I click login, it will take you to the actual QC tabs. Okay. So the first step as a project admin, you need to log in. You need to choose the right project. Get into QC. This is the first screen of QC. So there are, if you see on the left hand side, there are different tabs, requirements, where you can put project specifications, test plan, where you put your test cases. Test resources are used main mainly when you use automation tools along with QC. Test lab, where you do the test execution. Defects is the bug tracking. Dashboards is the graphs and analytics. So the project admin has now logged in. Now in this one, what we want to do is we want to allocate more users to this project. Okay, I go here, tools, customize. This is possible only by the project administrator. So I get into customizing, then I go to project users. If you go to the project users right now, my name Arjun is added over here. And this Arjun is a member of TD admin. That means TD stands for test director, which is the previous name of QC. He's also a viewer. Uh, there are different groups. TD admin is the super user within this project. There's a project manager, there's a developer and a QA tester. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a new user. <coughs> In this case, if I click the new user, right? Add user by username. You can add a new user right here or add user from the list of site users. If you select this, we have already added Abdul and other users to the site, right? So I'm going to add Abdul and Ramu to this project, okay? So the two users will get now get added. But by default, Abdul and Ramu, they are viewers. If you look at this, they are member of viewers. What I'm going to do is, Abdul, I'm going to make it as a developer. Then uh, Ramu, I'm going to make as a QA tester. So once you make that, make sure you save this. Okay. So you need to save that. Otherwise, it will not take effect. So the first thing as a project admin you need to do is go to the project, customize, get the users into this one and allocate the right role, whether this person is a, and I will make sure the though TD admin has all powers, I am making sure that Arjun is also meant as project manager. So you have project manager as Arjun, Abdul as developer, Ramu as QA tester. There are three different roles. So this is a very important step. People need to do that. QC has got a lot of features here. So like auto mailing, alerts, workflow, everything can be done, but they are all like very, very advanced topics. Uh, in this, we are going to take only the essentials for every tester. If you go to the user properties, you can change your user uh, name, email, phone number, and then change the password also. For evaluation and training purposes, we set the password as nothing. Okay. Now, once you customize allocate users, then I return. I return. Now let me log out. Once I log out, okay. I want to log in as Ramu. Instead of Arjun, I log in as Ramu. I say authenticate. Now it shows the project for him. If I click login, it gets you. This particular user gets into this QC and this person is able to see all the screens. This is a welcome screen. So he sees requirements, test plan, etc. etc. Okay. Depending upon the roles, some buttons may be enabled, some buttons may be disabled because a tester, what the tester can do, what 
developer can do, what project manager can do, all these things are completely access controlled in Quality Center. So in this session, what you have learned is get into QC as project admin, pull in users from the site users list, allocate to that project, set their roles into the project. We will end this session here. Thank you.